it's just that in society we don't want to address it um, a lot of people think oh it's you know they're forcing me to get married to a person that I don't want to it's not just that it's the it's the actual abuse the honor that comes along with it mm-hmm. but when does a child or an adult actually you know think about okay this this can turn into something serious if we have to change our identity we will change their identity we will move them out of time we will make sure that there is no trace and we have that support with the police behind us mm-hmm. because we know how dangerous it is because if family finds out or family friends find out or extended family finds out it could end up in a homicide um i chose in in the 90s to marry somebody out of religion um my family emotionally and psychologically and mentally blackmailed me continuously um until i didn't give it give in because i was involved in arranged marriage at the age of 13 um i got married as soon as i turned 18 I didn't see my husband till the wedding day. I didn't know his name, so I wasn't involved in anything. It was an asked. So I arranged marriages, forced marriages. I'm very against it. Um, it. The marriage lasted for 23 years, but there was a lot of domestic violence, um, verbal abuse. There was, there was a lot of, type of different types of abuse from him and his family. Um, so I want to speak up, be a voice, raise awareness, and just help, help in any way I can, because... You know, there's, there's probably loads of Ks out there. There's probably loads of Ks that are suffering a lot more than me. Um, there's some people that have even took their lives. So if we speak up and we make that difference together, we can save the next generations and make differences for, the, for more generations, for our daughters, sisters and more generations to come. So it's really imp- important to raise this awareness. Um, I was originally from Middlesbrough and I've moved to the Midlands, so it's like, fully on changing my life it was packing up and just restarting it was hard but today I've got peace of mind I've got my life back in my hands and I feel it's very important that you're always thinking but how am I going to cope it, it is hard but day by day it gets easier just having that peace of mind and sleeping in peace and not having no control you know it's a brighter it's definitely a brighter light out there and just that you know you can do it it's not help there's a lot of help out there don't shy don't be shy to go and ring or get help i got help i did get a lot of help and you know what there's so many amazing different charities and organizations helping so speak you know even if you're unsure get advice speak to people don't keep it in yourself you know yeah. reach out it's feeded into our into our brains that you know this is your life and this is however it is whatever ups and downs you have this is your life but it's wrong because it's it's more culture it's not religion yeah. it's not written in our religion you've got to have an arranged marriage you can't speak to the person you're marrying it's all just feed it in wrongly into our heads so in my case it was more where mental health came in and where I was suffering and my kids were suffering from mental health, breaking down depression, anxiety, panic attacks. And that's that was it when I knew that no more, you know, enough is enough, you know, I'm leaving. Um, it, it was 23 years and it got worse and worse and worse. And where I didn't want to sort of take, I, I felt like my children wanted to be around their family. So I stayed there longer, but it was wrong because the environment was so unhealthy for them that they were suffering from mental health. So it's it's best to just walk away. You know, it definitely is. Yes. So I think that, that you talking about this, I'm sure it inspires a lot of people that are listening or as I'm going through the same thing because, you know, from a young age, it's very important for us to kind of take our own stand and, you know, speak against our parents, even though, you know, this is something that's been inherited in the kid's brain that, you know, your parents are the authority. They are the ones who are always right. So you are supposed to sort of listen to them. But then in some cases, it's important to realize, you know, they do, they are humans and they make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you have to, you know, speak for yourself and then tell them, you know, that, that you're wrong in this kind of sort of, you know, scenario. And obviously you've spoken about um, kids, which is something big for most of the, you know, women um, in our community and in, in, around the world, you know, if they have kids that 
you know they feel like that's sort of the you know end of the world kind of thing they cannot get out of that marriage because they have kids Mm -hmm. and you know you coming out here and talking about how after having four kids you still you know put yourself together had the courage to walk out of that toxic environment like kudos to you for doing that because lots of people just do not want to you know take that and take that decision just because they're scared of the community and what the society is going to think a piece of advice for them you, you have one life you only remember this life please don't ruin it do not ruin it you know i'm 43 and whatever however long i've left i've got left to live i want to live for myself and enjoy it and follow my passion and my dreams and this is why i'm doing it to, to inspire women that you can no matter how old you are or what situation you're in or if you've got children it doesn't matter walk away from domestic violence i didn't realize that i was suffering from domestic violence because it became so normal you know it's it's just like an everyday normality and you know physical abuse is really bad any sort of abuse it could be just you know mine was mainly verbal abuse but it does affect you in the long term please walk away from it it's about breaking that cycle it's about speaking out you know we can't go back time and change our ancestors thought process but we can change the future and by raising awareness and speaking out and saying no um this is not going to happen i'm sorry it's my choice this is my life I'm going to do it this way if you don't like it that's absolutely fine so most of the times you know individuals 16 or 18 years of age they are you know told by their parents that you know we're going on this holiday back mm-hmm. to our home country and they are taken they're not aware about anything that's going to happen when they're there they're not aware that you know they there's, there's going to be this arranged or forced marriage taking place when they get to that holiday mm-hmm. so for those type of uh, individuals who you know who become those victims they are unaware of the fact that this is happening and when they get there they feel like you know now they're stuck because they're abroad yeah. so for those people what, what t- type of support okay, is available yeah, for them? so we've all we've had m- many victims that have been threatened to be taken abroad or they just think they're going on a holiday and my advice would be if you have any suspicion that you are taken abroad to get married try to get a photocopy of your passport give it to one of your best friends give it to somebody that you trust so they know that you know that we've got a copy the information is there your passport number with that we can still go to the British embassy and get and bring you back we have had an incident a case where we had to you know actually get a victim that was taken by her husband and left there and her passport was destroyed and we had to bring her back only because we had photo copies of her passport so it's doable the british embassy if you are a british citizen or you are a victim of domestic abuse or violence or forced marriage they will bring you back if you can't get hold of your passport that's absolutely fine your name your date of birth Give it to somebody that you trust. As long as they know that we have that information, we can stop. If you seek for help, we can go to the border force and let, inform the airports that this person could be taken abroad against their will and it will be flagged up. You can put something, I think, uh, I'm think i sure everybody is aware of the silver spoon campaign, but you don't have to put a metal object, you know, a spoon in your underclothing you can it could be anything the safety being something metal that rings you know sounds the alarms when you're going through security security will take you into a room that is your window to tell them that i don't want to go abroad i've i've been there and it was a total mix and match and i do regrets but that was my life then and it's made me a lot stronger i was a very quiet shy girl but i'm not that same person anymore so my journey has brought me to who i am today and if that was me then i would have just said no to my parents i'm not doing it so speak up raise awareness tell them what you want if they won't listen then seek help that's what this forced marriage awareness week at Aston is all about you know as a students union that's what we are pushing towards because we know lots of individuals go through this and we want to make sure they're aware of the support available so thank you for joining thank us you. today thank you thank you so much thanks